What is this first banana recipe? I know you're dying to I know. am dying. Hey, this is Vince Leah, the healthy vegan guy, and today I am here with Fifi, the divine hostess. <laughs> if you haven't checked out her channel, she's on YouTube, go hit the subscribe button. She has some amazing recipes, some healthy living tips. Why don't you tell them a little about out your channel? So the Divine Hostess is all about cooking, hosting, and healthy lifestyle. And the idea is just to make healthiness just part of your whole lifestyle. So not just in the kitchen, but outside the kitchen, thinking about you know when it comes to fitness and where you're shopping, what you're using for your shampoo, just really making it like a holistic thing. And then I'm also into DIYs. Um, so I do a lot of those with like home decor. Um, also with the hosting, like getting you ready for hosting dinner parties and such. So I'm all over the place, but it's just basically healthy lifestyle. So I would love for you guys to come by and check it out. Yeah, so the home decor, you definitely want to check her out because there's none of that on the channel. <laughs> so today we're going to be busting out some awesome recipes. She has a couple banana ice cream recipes that we're going to be knocking out. She brought them over today. And let me tell you, we are in for a treat. I cannot wait to dive into this thing. All right, Fifi, so what is this first banana recipe? I know you're dying to I know. am dying because I'm looking at <laughs> I'm looking at this lemon. Look. Yeah, let's go. Hey, don't, don't tell them before I'm ready. <laughs> so um, we're going to be making a strawberry lemonade banana ice cream. So traditional, I thought about pink lemonade, but when I was researching it, pink lemonade is usually with cranberries. Mm -hmm. um, that's what makes it pink, but there's also strawberry lemonade. It's perfect for a hot day. I love lemon so much. So I was like, let me try to do this. The first is bananas. Want to add those bits? And we have uh, four? Yeah, okay. four bananas. So that's like two servings. Or if you're greedy like me, <laughs> this is all mine. So I don't know what you're gonna. I don't know what you're gonna do. You. Okay, so we'll add the strawberries, and then do you want to add the lemon juice? Now, how much strawberries? About a cup. So yeah, about a cup is good. Yeah. Um, and the fresh strawberries I forgot to mention, which are a little juicier. This is very helpful if you don't have a very powerful blender. The liquid always helps. And then can you just add a splash of our oh. lemon? I, I, I'm calling it like less essence of lemon because it's not really lemon extract. That smell is incredible. Wow. I love lemon. Bam. Okay. All awesome. right. So that looks good. So <laughs> simple, right? Four ingredients. Not too Anybody bad. Anybody can do this. Mm -hmm. We'll just put the top on here. So, time for the taste test. Time for the taste test. The moment of truth. Yes. It's like candy. It looks like cotton candy. On yeah, it does. Wow. So, I hope you guys will try this one. And the scary thing is, we have one more though to go. Yep. So, let's go ahead and, well, I'm gonna finish this. All right, we're back with ice cream number two. And what is this stuff? So keeping it simple, some people like just a regular old vanilla ice cream. Mm -hmm. So what I have is some vanilla extract. You want the alcohol free. You also wanna make sure you read the bottle and just make sure you know what's in it. Um, you don't want one that has added sugar in it, Got but it. I usually add a little splash and it just becomes just a simple vanilla ice cream. But then I like toppings, so my toppings are going to be dates and pecans. Ooh. And kind of my logic on the dates is that they have kind of a gummy sweet texture. Kind gummy of, there. Yes. Ooh. So that way you're not adding candy, you're just keeping it all plant-based and keeping it nice and healthy and natural. So um, let's... Yeah, let's start because yeah. we keep talking and I'm, I'm getting hungrier and hungrier. So. Yep. So we have uh, four frozen bananas. Yep, and then I'm just going to add a little splash of this extract. Don't need a ton. It's pretty strong, so and we've got four whole bananas, but just a splash, like let's say like half a teaspoon, is just enough. So I think that's it because the toppings are going to go on next, so we can just go ahead and blend this thing. Like this. Okay. Let's go ahead. See what happens. Wow. That looks incredible. But even better, just tasting it. Yes, I cannot wait. Okay, so go ahead and put some into the bowls here. Okay. It looks nice and thick, which is perfect. Put these toppings. Yeah, in. so I'm gonna let you put as much as you want for the dates. I, I did, this is like maybe four or five dates, I think. So you can put as many as you want of those. I'm gonna put some of my pecans on here. All right, moment okay. of truth. Mmm, wow. This is so good. I love the toppings. Yeah. The, the dates, because you don't get that, it's not a strong date flavor, mm -hmm. 
when it's mixed with the uh, the banana and ice cream, yeah. it's really good. So I hope you enjoyed this video, and Fifi, thanks so much for stopping by today. Absolutely. And introducing these great recipes. So where can we all find you? Obviously, other than YouTube. So I'm on Snapchat and Instagram and Twitter. But instead of the Divine Hostess, it's just Divine Hostess. Okay, great. Well, awesome. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. Leave me a comment. Let me know what is your favorite banana nice cream recipe. And also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, and I'll talk to you soon. Stay healthy. We're back. I'm oh. sorry. <laughs> Let's go ahead. Whoa. <laughs> I've done that before. <laughs>